Hi guys, welcome to vlog week. Vlog week didn't happen because I got sick, so sorry guys. Today is Dom's last day in Texas. She comes back in two weeks, right? Yeah. It's sick. It's sickening. And also I'm having gnarly cramps right now. We're in line at Starbucks. It's Monday morning. It's almost 10 a.m. I never start my day this late, but- Oh, I was so shocked. I didn't get out of bed till like 8.45. It was horrible. Today's not Dom's last day here though. I just have so much cleaning to do and like We're recording an episode. Thank you. Um Thank if you. I if we're in the right mood for it. No, what are you talking about? I don't about? know if I'm gonna get in that mood. Will you help me clean? Yeah. So it's time for one hour. Yeah. And we go in. Yeah. Okay, but Thank when you. I get home I need to like shower to okay. get in like the right head. You shower before you clean? Yeah. Oh. Well, also, I'm just like. Yeah, I get it. Well, I'm sorry. I just have a miniature sore throat from screaming all weekend long. Okay, guys. So, I just want you guys all to know that I'm sorry, but duty does call in Los Angeles. What does I have? Tom, like, wants to cry. So. <laughs> I do. I do. I'm not happy about this. What's happening here? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that is not what I was not what I was expecting at all. We <laughs> might have to come back. I never get this drink ice, and I always say no whip, but I just forget that they put whip on ice drinks. I've never seen a whipped ice drink. No one. They do it all the time. Literally, if I, no one would take me serious right now. No, like if we showed up somewhere, everyone would literally. With these drinks, they would, yeah, they'd be like, "Are you guys twelve? Yeah. Let's do a taste test. It'll be like first time at Starbucks. Let's do a taste test. Oh, guys, they I'm wearing Brad Winning Housewife merch. Oh, yeah. You guys, we just had the best weekend, and I slept collectively probably 12 hours. Yeah. And 12 of those hours was last night. Just <laughs> Yeah, and all of which was Sunday night. Is it savage? No, it tastes fine. Like, I just am not used to drinking, like, really, like, sugary drinks because the holiday season's back like i'm trying to get back into my my group um like we just needed something the, to make us happy today. yeah i'm not happy and like i needed i thought this would make me happy these lids like grow up <laughs> that is so funny that is so true like a dome lid on your drink grow up grow like up. literally grow up yeah but so, so there's more drama yeah. So, so there's more drama. Yeah. So today I'm cleaning. I had to edit a whole vlog. Um, Dom and I are supposed to record an episode. Um, tonight we're going to dinner with friends because Dom's leaving for two weeks. We're being a little bit dramatic. Um, and yeah. Yeah. Should I house it for you while you're gone in New York? Yeah, if you want. Party at my house. Actually, please do. I need someone to wash the dogs. Okay, um, I'll look at flights today. Okay, that would actually be very helpful. It's gonna be me and my doggy dogs. <laughs> you can make funny videos. Oh, it'll be great. Yeah. Also, guys, Dom and I, for December, January, I'm going to New York twice, and Dom's going once, but like for like two or three weeks. And I go, then I leave, she goes, then she leaves, then I go. So, so who planned that out? You. No, she planned that out without. Sorry, me. I'm just so popular these days. I just have like so many trips with all my friends because I'm just so popular. So yeah. Okay, well don't worry about me because <laughs> I got I got some trips planned too. Really? Okay. Yes, I have some trips that I have planned. <laughs> so don't worry. What trips? I'm going to New York. I would have you know for about three weeks. And then you're going to Dallas. And then I'm going back to Dallas and then to LA. And then it's my birthday. <laughs> yes. We need to look into it. Oh, we should. We should do I can't. I can't have it at the piano. You part. love attention and you love stages. But not like that. Like, I don't. Like, after I no saw. No one's going to give you a laugh after dance. We went. No one is going to give you a laugh dance. We it went. Wasn't like that. And we saw. Our we had to give her a lap dance on stage. And he because fell. Because they were dating. She <laughs> fell off the chair. If that humiliation happens to me, <laughs> I'll never no, recover. But I've seen that every time I go there, and that's normally what happens. It was just because I busy. am gonna tell you right now, I don't really care because I'm not gonna die like that. 
What if I call my certain friend and then he's the one who gives you a lap dance? Who's your certain friend? You know the, your crush right now? What if he comes in and then he's the one who gives you a lap dance? I'm what confused. My cr oh, M G. Genius, right? No! I'll perform for him. <laughs> No, no, oh my gosh, that's scary. She's like, but that's so scary. Don't invite him. But like, invite him. <laughs> like, what are you doing that week? Oh my god, what are you so crazy? You're in Dallas and no idea. Wait, no, because if that happens, like, I'm. I promise you, I've been so many times, they don't normally do that. But I don't want to have to sit on the piano. They make all those weird box jokes. Like, it's just, I'm oh, going to be okay. uncomfortable. Well, they normally don't do that, but you're right. I get that. I have never seen that before there. I have. So, honestly, that's a fair, that's fair. It happened the first time. Oh, you can put my phone under there. Okay, I'm going to try my drink. Drink. Okay, I can't take myself seriously. Oh, what? No, like, I hate myself. I hate my life. I hate everything about it. Oh, okay. You're not me. We're okay. not eating that on camera. I'm not. You also can't hear me eat because I've learned to eat silently. Good. Being friends with Kenzie. She hates when people eat. Out no, loud. That's, no, it's not that. It's No, like, she literally, when she sees It's people, not anyone chewing. It's if you, like, chew obnoxiously. You never chewed obnoxiously. That's what I'm saying. But you're just, like, so close to me at all times that that... But I learned how to chew silently. Good, that's a good thing for you. Okay, you for also, forgive me. Okay, you guys, I left my plastic straw inside. So don't yell at me. This is not an all-time occurrence. And also, I would just like to say something for the record. I had a rough weekend, okay? And that's really all I have to say. No, we have the time of our lives. We have had the best month i think of this our lives is so good yeah it is really no like like i can never get this again but this is so good you just normally don't get <coughs> no i get it as a hot drink but the chestnut praline drink. the chestnut praline ice excuse me excuse me um we've had the best month i think probably of our entire lives well, it was sure. no the, the only thing that could have made it like one step better is if I found love because then I would have yeah. just never left Dallas. But it was like I'm not every single weekend was banger after a 15 banger. out of 10. Mm -hmm. Like every life is just so good right now. It was just everything was so much fun. There was not a bad day. There was not, I mean, oh my god, it was just so fun! So fun, so many good times. When we go low, we go high. Yeah, when they go low, we go high. They go low, we go high. My love stock came in, guys, so we have a lot of things to talk about today. My fireplace is supposed to come in. Mm. I'm confused. Instead of three people are on Saturday, it wasn't, so. Oh. I need to get my nails done. Well, maybe someone stole it. I was just kidding. <coughs> Alright, guys, this is from like three nights ago. We're finally getting up to clean it. It's honestly not that bad. Um, just a lot of trash. And decor, of course. We had a red themed pregame if you guys didn't see the TikTok go on just clean the house fixing all this stuff the um Obviously, the furniture isn't situated here because we're waiting on a fireplace to arrive. But my love sack came and it's expanding for the next two days. So it's just like in the corner, obviously not set up. But it's going to be so cute, so cozy. We got chocolate brown. I'm going to get chocolate brown bar stools as well. And once all this is actually like situated, oh my God, I'm tripping on you, Fitzy. Um, it's just going to be so cozy. So very excited. The couch isn't made. It needs like new blankets and stuff. But I'm really looking forward to this new fireplace. Obviously, it's fake, but hopefully it arrives today. Now we're moving into actually doing things today. Dom, how are you feeling? I mean, I just like... I we mean, have many friends down today, by the way. It's many, Monday. A many. And one of, one of our friends took the day off because they needed a Sunday. <laughs> and I might join in that. Yeah. Every, about every Friday, I tell Kenzie I don't work Friday and Monday. Yeah, Dom, Dom actually only works Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I, if 
she, if, if you're lucky. If that. <laughs> and I mean, like, today it seems like I'm going to send off some emails, schedule some Zoom calls, and I'm going to pack it up. <laughs> I'm going to pack up the office because uh, I'm trying to get there, but it's not. it's just not happening right now. Yeah. I think I need some emergency and a prayer. Emergency and a prayer. Well, I'm looking through potential looks that this really sweet stylist, Brittany, I'll have her Instagram linked below, sent over as options for my one of my New York trips. Um, and they're, like, so cute. So I'm going to order some clothes, get that stuff ready, um, and I have a lot of editing and stuff to do. But this is honestly, like, the best thing that's ever happened to me. I've never worked with a stylist before, but like, wow, so nice. All right, guys, we have a little grocery haul. I ordered stuff to make my favorite Swoltz Dom's hair soup too um, for lunch today after I edit, but we have the Italian kale tortellini soup to make. I also got like Smart Sweets, coffee. I've been eating so much sauerkraut lately, so I just get that. Um, my favorite kombucha, some mangoes. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm gonna be doing. We will be making this. In the fall time, this is my go-to soup. It is so good. If you guys haven't made it, you need to. I know so many of you guys have. It's actually originally from the Modern Proper, um, which is like my favorite place to get recipes, but love. Yeah, I don't really know what I've changed in my life other than like fully being myself. I just don't connect with that person. I don't relate to that person. I don't know. I don't know who that was. I don't know who that was. I only know Kenzie at Skelly. It's the only Kenzie I know. That's the only Kenzie I want to know. I only know Dom at Skelly. Yeah. <laughs> I've, ex I've excommunicated. I'm just kidding. Like, we were fine then. It's just, we were just so young and so impressionable. Yeah. And, like, the common theme is, like, everyone wants friends in my yeah. DMs, and it's always advice. So when I think about that, too, as far as, like, living life, like, again, I could literally cry because I love my life so much. I love the people I'm around. I love what I do for a living. I love where I live. I love my house. I love my family. Like I love everything about my life, right? But I also have to remember like there are so many people who would, I, I am so lucky when it comes to the friends that I have. But it's like the day after, it's the recaps. You gotta call. I, I immediately, I had my two girls that I FaceTime immediately when I wake up. We went to the boys house all day, just sat on the couch, recap a lot and I caused I stirred the pot that we could all be the first to admit it, and so I had a lot of <coughs> I had a lot of explaining to do. Always, I have a problem, guys. Like I, I do not know when to send myself home. I don't send myself home actually. I honestly don't. It was just such a good weekend. You know what? There's just something in the air, and life just feels right. How did you feel about that, Dom? Dom's also a Swifty these days. The server upstairs had a crush on Dom, and I Dom was it. this was her wild night. A few hours later, Dom and I just recorded a podcast episode, which will actually be up the week you guys are seeing this, and also on the podcast YouTube channel, currently making soup, so I have like the sauces and stuff going. This is my snack, my favorite kombucha ever. I'm really turning into sad girl hours because Dom leaves tomorrow. Like I might cry. Oh. My eyes are watering also, but I might cry. cry. She doesn't care. Don't be, don't be sad, be glad. That's what my mom tells me. That cure my depression. Yeah. We're matching. Last week has come in. Um, I'm making lunch right now. I'm like really hungry and also just really sad. Like I could cry because Dom leaves tomorrow. So, anyways, it looks really small. And like I knew it was gonna be small, but I loved it. And uh, we're gonna unbox it. But realistically speaking, I don't know why there's two. Eat the chat. Um, earlier today, Dom and I were just talking about how we've really never been happier. We talked about this in a podcast episode that we recorded and we were just, you know, whatever. And I was like, I've literally like tear up because I'm just so happy. And, um, I don't know what happened, but within 30 minutes, the Monday blues had hit. We were exhausted and my fireplace came in, but it's actually going to get installed tomorrow because I didn't realize that the setup was going to be that confusing. So someone's coming in the morning, but I'm making a coffee. Don't oh, mind me. Uh, I have my Christmas mugs out. At least I have that going for me. And then I remembered that Dom is gonna leave tomorrow. And honestly, normally of us two, Dom is the emotional sad one. Um, no, today it's me. Well, I think Dom is still sad, but I don't think she's as sad as me. I don't think she really cares. 
But we've literally had, I'm like not exaggerating, like the best month of our entire lives. And yes, Dan will be back in just a few weeks for like just a few days. But it's just sad. Like we've had so much fun. And I'm just so sad she's leaving. And then I'm going to be by myself. And normally I love being by myself and having alone time. Like I'm normally by myself majority of the time. But I really haven't been alone in the past month. And so now I'm really scared to be alone. I'm really sad. And yeah, so just made some coffee. We're gonna go get Dom's like favorite dessert in like an hour or so with some friends. And she leaves at like 4 a.m. tomorrow. So it's very sad. Um, I was sad as all of you guys. We might all have to cry together to drop her off at like 4 a.m. tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to like make my week really busy. Yeah, it's literally it feels like a breakup. Yeah. Dom! She doesn't care about me. It's already the beginning. She already forgot I exist. So, anyways. I have my coffee. I'm actually gonna go get ready. Here we go. Away from Holy. Oh, and now I'm buying on the staircase. She was hiding in my room. She could hear me earlier saying those things, and she I was actually like, "Hiding because I was on TikTok." No, Dom will straight up. Will she'll be in another room, and I like will yell her name for something, and then I'll say it like three times, and then I'll say, "I know you can hear me," and then she's like, "Oh, hey, what's up?" That happened once. No, it's multiple times. So we're gonna be answering some of your friend <coughs> and We're gonna do this over a drink, but. Probably not the best idea right now. Ugh. This vlog is literally gonna be called Sad Girl Day. Sad Girl Day. Not even Girl. a frozen Marg can fix. Oh. Hi, Kenzie and Dom. So I have a question about losing friends from a past relationship. So I just got out of a four year relationship and I'm starting to notice a lot of my friends that were both mine and my boyfriends are now staying loyal to him and I'm finding it hurtful to lose them and eye-opening and don't know how to react because I feel upset and angry but still feel shocked at how fast they switch sides and also are now friends with his new girlfriend. I was wondering just how to deal with that and also what the best moves are for moving forward. Love you both. Thanks for posting this. You guys can also leave your like opinions on how to handle it below. So, okay, just, I, I just would, to make sure I understand. Her and her boyfriend broke up, and her friends are essentially choosing her, like, showing more loyalty. She was in a four-year relationship, so her their friends were shared. And mm. now the friends are showing loyalty to him. My question is, were they his friends first? And are they guys? Yeah. That's, like, really hard, because, like, breakups are so tough, and there's so many emotions. Like, four years, I could not imagine that. That's, like, sharing yeah. four years of your life with someone. Oh, my goodness. You in a situation like that is just like open communication with your friends. You know, like maybe you guys used to go out in a group and then it's like because he's going to be there and it's awkward, you don't go out, but your friends still go out with him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like if it's a Your friends are also in an awkward position. Yes, because yeah. they're like, do we not? What do we do? And he's maybe he's just like all embrace the awkward, but like, you know what I'm saying? So I think the thing is, is you just need, you need to tell your friends how you're feeling. You just be like, hey, like I just want to let you know like I feel like this and I don't even think it's intentional but is there like whatever essentially if you want them to like spend more time with you like or whatever the case is you can just be like hey like I'm feeling really disconnected with you guys after the breakup like can we go get dinner or do something this happens all the time like people date in friend groups and then it's awkward after and then don't I would say like it depends though because sometimes people do really horrible things but if it was just like an amical breakup do not be the person that like makes an ultimatum of like it's either me or yes. them or whatever um but I would say largely like if it's girls I just am a girl's girl like I'm with my girl. yeah and also just like that's so fine to like if it's your girlfriends and they're like choosing your boyfriend over you or it feels like that's what's happening like, they're your friends, call them out. Like, if any of my friends did that, I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. We loved me first. You know what I'm saying? Like, and a lot of the times it's so unintentional, even if it feels intentional. I'm a recent college grad and my girl squad all came home from school. And if you are really into partying and spending lots of money at fancy clubs and I can't afford to go out with them. If we do hang out, it's a little weird because they're living such a different life and we don't really have much in common anymore. Help, my entry level salary ain't cutting it and I don't know what to do. We talked about finances and friendship yesterday with our friends. I mean, obviously, it is totally fine. Like, hey, I can't do this. I would try to be like, hey, but do you like want to come over? Like, we can make dinner, things like that. Um, but as far as like feeling like your lifestyles are changing, I would not hold on too tightly to the friendships. And I don't mean that in a way of like, oh, don't argue or fight for your friendships. <coughs> but like, we always say like hold things with an open hand. Like, for example, most people I hang out with, I've known most of my life, but like 
our friendship has looked different. Like some of us, I haven't talked like some people. I literally didn't talk to for like years. Yeah. Not like anything that like, happened. We just we're, we grew apart at that time. So things can circle back around, but if you feel like your lifestyles are changing, um, I would try to make new friends. Yeah, and also I was gonna say. So when I met like Kenzie, like Kenzie had a whole entire career. I was in college. I literally worked part time at in retail. Like I, my budget in college was a hundred dollars a week. Like I had no money. I was broke as a freaking joke. And a lot of the time, like Kenzie and I's hanging out looked like just having dinner or like I would ask her to come over or I would go to her house and like even yeah. like Ubers were expensive so like she would like I would like ride home with her from school like things like that like kind of like accommodating like the our friendship yeah. or like what we could do together and then the thing is though is like okay as far as like lifestyles go it seems like you're also in like a transition like period of time so I think now is like a great opportunity to like try and find friends that are maybe like more low-key and like don't want to go out as much and just are okay with like maybe like getting dinner once a week or walking around at the mall or just something that's not so you know like yeah. budget consuming because that was like a really hard thing for me in college but I think like you know finding friends that are okay with you know reeling it in and like if your new friends are like no like life's all about the party because that can be fun too but like i'm just for me personally i'm like not a club girl in the slightest no. i am a bar girl through and through if all of my friends started going to like fancy clubs all the time i wouldn't go and yeah. i would find other friends exactly and yeah. it's just like i like wouldn't say my love going to the bars with kenzie but when i'm in la like honestly yeah i hate going on i all i do is like stay home or like get dinner with friends so it's like you it, i think it's like there's a way to find both and maybe like you only you you start seeing those friends like once every time you want to go out or can go out. Like I feel like when all of our friends are getting like married and having kids and stuff, it's gonna be another thing of like oh everyone's on different pages. pages. Yeah. You grow away, you grow apart at certain points, you grow yeah. much together. But I would say largely like I am such a proponent of saying like hold things loosely because so many of my friends in life i've been friends with them for so long <coughs> but our friendships have looked different at different times it's yeah. like i was really close to pressy when i was younger we didn't talk for like so long and now that's like my girl that i like talk to yes, all the time you know exactly. what i mean or like even certain friends from like high school that i'm still close with or like even like my first friends in la like we yeah. go through different periods of time and there, I would have never thought I would have reconnected with my friends at home the way that I have. Yeah. But our lives, we are now all in the same, like, period of life again. Yeah. So we, like, have reconnected. So it's just very natural. Okay. So my friend has been dating this guy for two weeks, and now all of a sudden, they're getting full-blown married. Love is love, and to each their own, but he is not the one. How do I be supportive and find the urge to not just take her and start a new life in Dallas? Love you so much, Kenz. I am so sorry. Honestly... I think there are sometimes where in relationships with your friends, you have to just kind of keep your mouth shut because it's just going to ruin the friendship with that person and like that's their own thing. Yeah. This is not that time. Yeah. I would be like absolutely not. Literally, that's what I was good about. I thought you yeah. were saying for a second like to tell no, I was like, you need to, this is when, you need to like show up at the altar. Yeah. I don't think straight all the time and Kenzie shows up for me. And, yeah, like, there's times when it's, like, okay, they just started dating and, like, maybe you're not the biggest fan of him. Like, okay, yeah. maybe, like, keep your mouth shut and, like, observe him for, like, a couple more weeks before you say something. But this is, like, marriage. Like, and marriage yeah. is supposed to last forever. So, well, that's the goal. You would hope. So, it's just, like, okay, he's not the one. Two weeks. You need to sit her down and be, like, girl, Miss Girl, I love you. Always start. Also, always just say any hard conversation preface with this is coming from love as your friend that loves you i need to let you know miss girl what are we doing what's the rush like i think you just need to kind of like talk it out with her be like girl why are we getting married people rush into things too because they want to lock you in before yeah, you they find can out get bananas yeah, yeah i just feel like girl there's no rush like why don't we try it out for a year and he'll still want to, if he wants to marry you today, he'll want to marry you a year from now. How to navigate falling in love with your best friend and not ruining your friendship. Backstory, my friend of two years and I were super close, practically inseparable. We knew everything about each other. Then we both started to catch feelings and one night hooked up, which led to a sort of relationship that lasted three months before she started dating and got a boyfriend. That's, uh, 
Okay, I have questions. I told her it was okay, but deep down I don't think I was okay with that. Well, yeah, because you guys were like dating, so that would not make sense. This ruined our friendship as we couldn't navigate going back to being friends only. It's okay to lay it on thick. I have a question because if you guys were like in a sort of relationship that lasted three months and then she just started dating this guy out of the blue, yeah, I feel like that's like really uncool. Yeah, <clears throat> like you guys like didn't <clears throat> end and then she found this guy. Yeah, I think it's like maybe she thought you guys were like just having fun too. Yeah, but here's the thing. Maybe it wasn't like communicated well. Yeah, but regardless. Like, I don't, even if you guys were just having fun or whatever the, the situation is, it's like you still need to understand to be courteous of, like, someone's feelings, especially because she's your friend first. So, like, at the end of the day, like, I don't know, that's always the complicated thing with, like, dating friends is, like, the history of a friendship. Yeah. So, it's just, like, at the end of the day, though, she needs to respect you as a friend and be like, hey, like... This is what's happening in my life. But clearly, you guys became more than friends, so it's difficult. But I think, like, right now, like, radical transparency. Honestly, this one's going to take time, too. Yeah. I think you need to be really transparent now. You need to probably go into it knowing that you're probably not going to be the closest of friends for a while. If you guys, if your friendship rekindles, it's going to take time. The awesome thing about friendships is there's so many different kinds. And... Every blue moon, you meet, like, a really special person. I would say maybe, like, every year, couple years, you meet, like, a really special person who's, like, yeah. your person, and you they, they get added onto your list of friends. And so I was just like, okay, maybe you're losing a really incredible friend right now, but in a little bit, you never know who you're going to meet. Like, yeah. you know? Like, literally one night of us, we talk about this all the time, we just got dragged into going out after we were, like, both honestly just, like, depressed and didn't want to leave the house. Yeah. And my sister made us go out. And that one night completely changed, changed everything. everything. Like, literally everything about our lives. Every I reconnected with thing. so many people. I made so many new friends. Like, because of that one night. And you just, like, so that's why I'm saying, like, you have to be open. You can't believe that, like, this one, this is it. This is the only time it's going to happen. Like, no. Sibling and dating. Recently introduced one of my friends, let's call her Jane, to my friend group. I think Jane now expects to be invited every time we all hang out, which I did not intend. Like, can be about it sometimes, but I think everyone would prefer hanging out just us sometimes. <coughs> how do we do things without her being hurt that she wasn't invited? I cannot tell you how many times I've been in, like, a similar position or around. I feel like this is a really common one. I can get people who just, I'm very open and I'm very, like, uh, just, like, friendly, outgoing. So I have run into this before yeah it's, yeah i think the best thing to do is just kind of like hey like open forum if she starts to say something just like let her know like hey like i didn't realize you had that expectation on our friendship this is my expectation with our friendship yeah that's good i think leave it leave the conversation more like that i'm just like obviously care so much about my friendship that in a way, if it's, like, I don't want someone there all the time, it's because, like, I think it's healthy for us to have a separate friends. Yeah. Like, it's never because I'm, like, oh, I don't like you. It's just, like, we need separate things. This is already, our, like... Yeah. And, that, and and also, it's, like, okay. Like, not everyone has to be invited everywhere. You don't have... Like, not everyone... It's my literal biggest pet peeve in the world, and I sound so mean, but it's, like, you don't owe everyone an invitation, like, a front row seat to every single thing in your life. Yeah. And it gets... It's really frustrating to me, but I get the other end of it. So, it is tricky, but I would just say, like, you have to have, like, a communication... Like, I would have a conversation with expectations of the friendship. Yeah. <sighs> hey, Ken, this is gonna sound fake. I swear it's not. What do I do when my best guy friend since freshman year of college... Tells my best friend he has feelings for me, and he has had these feelings since freshman year. We're seniors now. But I'm not supposed to know, and he doesn't know that I know, and also we're podcast hosts together, and I'm in a happy, committed relationship. Also, we're all friends with each other and hang out all the time at small school. Okay, I got this one. I wanted to answer this because we're podcast hosts together, so can you send me the podcast? Um, here's the thing. You snooze, you lose. If he didn't say anything already, he didn't say anything. And, and if you were in a committed relationship, by the way, I would say marry this kid. Like, I like the story. I like where it's going. But you're already in a relationship. You don't need to know this. It's not your job to communicate that he hasn't communicated his feelings for you. Yeah. I would leave it be. I wouldn't say anything. Yeah, just don't say anything. Act like you don't know. But if this is, like, the beginning of, like, a YA yeah. rom-com and you guys, like, get together. Like, I get you're in a committed relationship. But I'm just, like, how committed are how you? How committed are you? To the relationship. Like, are the, does he have flaws? Because yeah. then I would say... You know, maybe, like, pause there, explore this, yeah. then go back. Just, like, see what happens. Yeah, just a splash of... But ultimately, little... I would... It's not your job to handle it. Yeah. Y'all tell me how I'm supposed to properly deal with moving on from my high school group of friends 
aka mainly my only friends that I've had for years, but I feel like I've outgrown most of them and I'm just in a different lifestyle than them and it's so hard because I slowly distance myself but it still hurts me. So I actually, when I like moved back here, the people that I thought I was gonna hang out with are not, I'd never see them. And I, it was a, honestly like really sad for me because I'm so like, I don't really like change in like friendships and relationships much. It's also like really normal to- So grieve, normal. Like grieve relationships, you know? And it, it feels sad because like you're, it's, it's almost like it almost feels like a breakup because it's no one's fault like it's just it's like no one's fault you guys are just changing so there's a little grief process involved but at the same time i think it's really important to keep an open mind to the idea that you there's actually a group of people <coughs> that are gonna like serve your lifestyle better and like be in theirs yeah also. and theirs and it's like be more open and like kind of finding ways to be creative to find those relationships rather than focusing on like the relationships you're losing. I, I, they're not your people right now, they're only other people yeah. and you will like, you'll, it, find, you'll them. find them. This one is also my biggest hobby. Um, my best friend is really possessive and jealous when I talk to other friends. She wants to talk on the phone way more than my capacity and it makes me feel exhausted to explain to her that I don't have the mental bandwidth to meet her expectations all the time. I've tried having these combos, but she makes me feel really guilty and I leave the situation just trying to keep her happy. But I obviously feel resentful and sad because I'm not respecting my own boundaries. Please help because I love her. I just want <coughs> to handle this. Yeah. She's already had conversations. So I'm going to go about it as though you've already had all these conversations with her. There are times when you need to take major setbacks from friendships. And I'm not saying that you guys will never be friends again. But I think at this point... This is draining you way too much, and that's not a real friendship. I, it drives me, I cannot do clingy. It drives me absolutely insane. I'm also like a floater with friends. Like, I, I have like different groups. So, I, like, the second that I feel suffocated in a friendship, it makes me, like, I turn into, like, a different person. Like, I get really antsy. I hate it for whatever reason. And I would just say at this point, you have, you, like, you have to just set your boundaries. Yeah. And, like, it's not, like, how she reacts is not your problem. Yeah. If you've already had, like, she's already had conversations. Yeah, and I think the biggest thing, too, is to just, like, hey, you know, like, you already told her, like, be, like, my capacity's changed. Like, right now, I'm, like, I don't have time to answer. And if she starts blowing your shit up, like, dude, now's the appropriate time to stop responding. Because she's, like, crossing over a boundary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, yeah. And also it seems like there's a little ounce of, like, codependency on her side. And, yeah. like, that is probably not the best thing. Like, an unhealthy dose of codependency. This girl said, one of my best friends recently started hanging out with this guy. It's the closest she's ever gotten to a relationship. She's so excited about it and falling out of her heels for him. Amazing, right? So happy for her. But since they started dating two months ago, I've literally only seen her twice. I've texted and called her. She keeps plan canceling on plans. Pretty isolating because all my friends live hours away. I'm happy for her, but I'm also getting really sick of being canceled on. How am I ever acting and just need to suck it up and take the third wheel hangs to see my friend or is there something I can say to her? Okay, I think there's two sides to this. One, when you say like our, for all of our friends live a few hours away, so her and I are the closest and like you feel lonely. I would say like this is the one thing that I would say like keep in mind on your end. Like it isn't her fault too that like most of your friends don't live near you. Like don't put all of your eggs in one basket with one friend because things like this can happen and like they will happen. So I would just be aware of like, oh, maybe like just make more friends in your area. On the other end, that is really annoying. It's been two months and you've literally only seen her twice. That's like really bad. Um, but I always lean more on the end of like, especially if this is like her first relationship, when this stuff happens, like, I don't know, I used to take a lot more offense to this when I was younger of like if a friend all of a sudden is like ditching for a guy, but like everyone at one point is going to like do that or get in a relationship, be excited about it, whatever. I would just give a lot more grace with it. Two months is a long time though for okay. it to be like that. Yeah, here's the thing. And I've, I've honestly, I'm the consistent single friend. Like honestly, I'm like consistently single and if I am seeing a guy, it's not ever to the point where it messes with like seeing my friends. So there's definitely, I've had multiple like really good friendships where like they've got lost in like, you know, the sauce, the man sauce. So I think the other thing too is, is just like tell them because more than likely they're not realizing it and like, okay, say you tell them and they're like, okay, and they still don't change then hey, that just means that they're in a different time where they want to 
you know, invest in that relationship. Hey, kind of shitty that, like, yeah. you know, they're not making time for you. But, like, as he's saying, perfect opportunity to make friends. Because you should also, like, having friends closer to you is going to feel a lot better. And you're not going to be so dependent on this person. But at the same time, I've definitely lost friends, like, really good friends to like you know boyfriends and it sucks and it never feels good in high school i would have gotten a lot more annoyed about this and i think it still is annoying but i think on one end great opportunity to make other friends like i would never just have one friend to where all your eggs are in one basket and then that obviously like causes problems i do think she needs to be more considerate and definitely make more time for you but this is kind of just like life like people get in relationships and then they're with their significant other more or whatever and like every i feel like everyone's gonna be annoying with a boy at one point so i always lean more on the side of like i'll ignore it like it's not that big of a deal and it'll be fine and then most likely they're probably gonna break up at some point unless they get yeah. married and then like don't be the person that's like like i don't know just be there for your friend everyone yeah. does stupid things like that I, but i also think like it's really important to also tell her how you're feeling yeah. because if you don't you're just gonna literally end up hating her guts yes and get really resentful my friend is talking behind my back about me to our mutual best friend. I honestly don't want to be friends with her anymore because she treats me like an enemy at this point, but I have to keep acting like we are best friends to our other mutual best friend. Thoughts on how to move forward? Yeah. Okay, so it clearly sounds like you don't want to be friends with this girl, and I get it. I've been in situations where, like, I haven't really had much of an interest in being friends with someone, but they're friends with people that I really care about and that I spend a lot of my time with, so I don't want to put them in an awkward position. And whatever and honestly I wish that I would have from day one made plans with those friends for like our own plans and not been put myself in a position to kind of force a friendship with someone that like I just really didn't vibe with because it just causes problems as far as like I don't know I think I think right now like you guys she kind of got caught like you caught her and so now, anytime, like, something like that happens where I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for you guys to, like, go get dinner, drinks, not drinks, dinner, and coffee, and just air, clear the air. Like, whether it ends in you guys, you'll, you'll be civil, and, like, if you guys hang out in the same places, like, the same bars, you guys have a group dinner together, you guys can be chill. But it definitely seems like you guys don't enjoy each other, especially since she feels like she can't come to you for whatever reason. So it's like now's the perfect opportunity to clear the air and just kind of move forward so that there's no more tension for your other friends too. Because it doesn't feel good if like your other friends feel caught in the middle. So like I would just approach it head on and be like, hey. I feel like we're off on the wrong foot right now and there's like a lot of tension let's just like go grab lunch and clear the air yeah yeah and just attack things like that you have to attack head on last one okay so my best friend of 12 years started dating this guy he's related to this girl that we both talk shit about that doesn't matter I was honest with her about my shock and feeling of doubt for other for other reasons mainly because she started dating him when she just moved to grad school and long distance, which in the past hasn't worked out well with her. She then proceeded to push me away and seems distant. I open up to her about my insecurity, about feeling like I'll be faced out of her life and friendship and all from this guy that she barely knows. She guilted me for saying the reason she's distant is because of me and my feelings of being honest. I feel hurt, insecure, and confused to move past it. I don't. I know so many friends don't like their best friend's boyfriends. It's just hard because we have never had a big dispute and fight like this one now where it feels awkward. Yeah. It, okay, so I don't think that him being related to someone that you guys don't like has anything to do with him. Um, there, are, like I, there are people that are dating my best friends that I don't like, and okay, I, I think it depends on your level of friendship. Like if you told me you don't like a guy that I was dating, I wouldn't want to date them. But I think it kind of sounds like you are. A, I think that I, I don't know because I don't know the details of why you don't like him. It sounds like you don't <laughs> like him more because you're afraid. Like it sounds almost like a territorial thing. And like again, yeah, as we get older, like you have to like let your friends live and yeah. soar and get in relationships and things like that. But like <coughs> I, on the other end though, I will like play the devil's advocate of. Let's say that he's toxic, right? And yeah. like she's ignoring you she's kind of like giving you the peace signs and it's like red flag city if you said what you needed to say and she's still not listening to you 
just there's nothing that you can say sorry you guys there's nothing that you can say that will get her to listen to you so i would kind of just take the l on the situation unfortunately she's gonna learn the hard way and it sucks yeah. and like you might <clears throat> for a season lose out on a friendship but at the same time like if someone's not gonna listen to you someone's not gonna listen to you and like you have nothing to be afraid of and because like we keep saying consistently there's always going to be more people for you but i don't think if she's caught up in toxic city like you gotta let her live there and she's not gonna listen to you it happened to me before where i'm like hey the guy that you're dating is a wacky wacko like he's toxic and they're just like no actually you're like and flip the script on and you. that's the problem i would say more often than not depending on your relationship depending on what time you say this in the relationship whatever it's like you were always the bad guy yeah if you talk poorly about someone's like partner to them yeah. it's i don't think it's always worth it and i think it hurts your relationship a lot more yeah than it does any good and again i think it it depends on like, the relational equity that you have yeah. with that person so like she she didn't list off a bunch of reasons why she doesn't yeah. like him all she said was she was afraid of yeah her that's why i'm saying so i don't like, think this guy is like really that crazy like yeah. toxic i'm just offering the other yeah. side and a lot of the dms that i've gotten like so many were about like feel like you're losing friends to relationships and things like that like eventually most people are gonna get married yeah. so like i think that that actually is something that you have to like normalize more and not take so personally and not get offended by it because there will come a time like there's like the, your significant other will come first and like you're if you marriage or whatever yeah. and so i do think like as we're getting into our 20s the advice is changing from like don't do that to like like I don't know on one end like you have people grow up and like even at 25 some people aren't wanting to be with their friends like they were at 23 and like they're you know getting into relationships building a life with someone things like that like don't be the person that's like sitting there so jealous and like ruining yeah. your friendships because you're mad that your friends don't have as much time yeah. for you as they get older and they're gonna have less time for you but I also think I will say this though to the people that are in relationships and like you realize and you're, you've made your significant other your whole life don't throw away your yeah. friendships for a person. Like, honestly. I also don't think it's like the relationship we should be in. It's yeah. It's, but I just mean that, like, I've I've lost so many good friends to relationships where it just became, like, them against the world. And, and like, it sucks because, like, I lost a really good friend. And it sucks seeing that they had no one at the end of the relationship. Yeah, we like, have like we they literally have not a single person that actually is like they're they don't even have a best friend yeah like that's so sad it's like you like and there will never come a time in your life where you don't need, need female friends. friendships yeah, yeah exactly so i just mean like you know it's both it's like hey space for them to like explore the relationship but also if you're in a relationship do not throw away your friends and I also think that, like, your friends make you better and make your relationship better. I don't think anyone should... Comp I'm not saying, like, oh, don't be mad. They're, like... So like, I mean, don't be mad that the expectations of the friendship are changing. Yeah. That's going to happen as we get older regardless. Don't completely, like... I'm not saying, like, oh, don't be friends with your friends. I'm just saying, like, you need to, like, hold it with a loose hand. Yeah. Eventually, we're going to get older and, like, and people like, have less yeah, time. like, less... There's going to be less time that you can, like, spend, yeah. of course. But, but it, like, you don't want to lose your friend. Like, yeah. your people are, like, what matter in life anyway. Exactly. It's yeah. just, like, be weary of that. Because, like... We've seen people literally lose... Like, they had no one to invite. Literally like, no one to yeah. invite to the wedding. And it was, like, the saddest shit ever. Yeah. Like, I, I would rather die than Same. have my wedding just us oh my god i also just let i don't know i'm like a big friend person i know i just i'm obsessed with my friends yeah. like i literally love every single friend that i have so the idea of like my friends feeling you know i don't know and if you're reasonable. if you're in a relationship and you feel like you can't be with your friends i would question that relationship in group right now you know what i always wonder like so random and if you guys have stories about this let me know i always hear from people like oh We've been friends for years and like we never even thought about it. And then at like 30, we like got together and got married. And I'm like, I wonder if one of our friends, like that's gonna be the story. There's two people that I hope it happens to her and they don't. There's multiple people that I feel like it's gonna happen to. That like have no feelings for each other now. No feelings for each other now and later. Or like had a history and like. Yeah. Or and right now, they're, and then later on, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh. The, yeah. The scales have been removed. I'm just like excited to see like what. Who, honestly, I, that would just be a fun wedding. I'll, I'll throw out some predictions after this video. Okay. Because I've been outside looking in. I, I've been thinking. Okay, well. I'm also a great matchmaker.
we have been recording for 40 minutes in the vlog. So we're gonna go to the Rustic for dinner. <coughs> we have to go pick up a friend. Guys, the day we've all been dreading has come. It's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> I love you guys. Hey, Tom. I love you, Kenzie. See you in like two weeks with Sophie. Bye. Guys, look who it is. Oh my gosh. Are you just the cutest thing I've ever seen? Are you just the cutest thing I've ever seen? Did we get a new puppy? Yes, not for this house though, right? I'm actually crying at how perfect you are. Today has just been a catch up day. I've been so exhausted. I've been on puppy duty, just been cleaning. Um, I dropped. Job off the, at the airport at like 5 a.m. It was really depressing, but I've had a puppy with me all day. Um, so, you guys are probably confused and have a few questions. This is how she's currently sitting. What's up, girl? Technically, she doesn't have a name yet. This is actually my brother's dog. My brother and sister live like down the street from me. My brother is the biggest dog person that we know. He always takes care of our dogs. Oh, she's so cute. So my sister and I got him a dog. Technically, this is his Christmas gift. It's really early, but he is currently out of town so he doesn't even know that we got this dog yet it's actually i mean he knows that we were getting him a dog but he doesn't know that we currently have the dog so we are on puppy duty hi cutie i love you we have so many dogs within my family and that feels like they're all mine okay okay hi she gets a random burst of energy and then she sleeps most of the day i get it i get it i get it she's literally so cute i'm obsessed with her and i'll be with her all the time because she's also my neighbor and my niece okay Winnie, seriously cheers she's so cute but i will have her i don't even know how long anyways that is it for this vlog hope you guys enjoyed subscribe if you guys are new love you guys so much i'll talk to you soon Say bye, Winnie. He was like, well, I hate the song, but he's like real religious. And he was like, but I love you. And he was like, I just want what's best for you and all this stuff. And I was just, for me, with my story, it's really cool because here you have this song that's, you know, explicit and all this stuff. And it's funny. And it is definitely part of my personality. Like, 